Here is my 1015 horsepower Lamborghini Rivalto. This is insane. special day today I am collecting my Lamborghini Rivalto I am like it's, it's been a long process so I'm still a bit shaky about it I've come down in the Urus Perfumante um, there's Max loading up <laughs> loading up Ish's car Ish's over here with my Rivalto goods so basically it comes with like a charging dock um, tire stand thing I guess when you spend half a million on the car they have to throw in some free extras well, those boxes are <laughs> the max, max is loaded so boxes. he said to me make sure you bring someone with you and my plan was to put all the boxes in a oh, cab yeah, send it to my house but oh, yeah, luckily Ish is right. here in his hey, Urus they don't even fit in the booth. no you're lying bro so th this is Urus um, Urus's this is Ish's Urus Performante this is another box is this parking thing the jiggies? yeah uh, luggage is this for the stand or is it? no oh, just luggage Oh wait, how did you how did you get these? Did you option these? Right. I didn't get these. For sure. Awkward! <laughs> <laughs> He's got them in his house <laughs> holding up a ball. This is Max. This is my Lamborghini my Lamborghini uh, salesman. So basically my Lamborghini journey started with him DMing me. That sounds very romantic, but it's not that romantic. Because you did a Milbrook day to start yeah. with you. Storato. Roboto. Seven cars! Seven God! Seven cars since 2021. One. One. Yeah, seven cars since 2021. Some people call it an addiction, some people call it mental illness. I call it passion. My wife calls it stupidity, but here we are. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. God, look at this, my baby. <laughs> this is mad. I haven't been this excited for a car for a time. How, wait, how long, is it, how long have you been working on it today? All day? Yeah, I started at 3 o'clock. In, in, in the morning? morning. Yeah, 3 o'clock in the so morning. So you've been working on it. That's more than 12 hours. That's slave labor. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's right, no I really worries. appreciate it. My uh, uh, Rivalto's underneath there, freshly wrapped by Dan. And this guy did the whole process for me. He took me from start to finish. She was like, trust me. Because I was apprehensive at first because the price. And because I heard it was a hybrid and I hadn't seen what the car looked like. But he was like, trust me, you want to order one. You want to order, you want to order one. So finally got one. And it's the f this is your first delivery, isn't it? My first delivery. Yeah, so yeah, the first, the first one out of Lamborghini Pangborn. Let's do it. It's the only wrapped Rualto in the world, the first wrapped Rualto in the world. So if it looks horrible, it's because he hasn't had much experience. Now I'm joking. <laughs> oh my God, that looks mad. Wow. That looks mad. What the f God, it looks like a spaceship. Oh my God, my wife's gonna love this. Oh my God, what? I'm looking through the windows like it isn't mine. Now turn around. Thank you very much. Oh my god, look at that! What colour is it? <laughs> oh my... From this angle, it looks crazy. Oh, I, I'm lost for words. Bro, thank you very much, man. Oh my god, man. I don't know what to say, it looks on... Oh, that's my baby! They're coming home with me tonight, girl. <laughs> I need to... I'm gonna start naming my cars. So I need to think of a name for this one, but it deserves a crazy name. Like... Luscious Lucy or something like that. What? No! That looks <laughs> mad! That looks mad! Oh my god! Guys, are you seeing this? Oh my god! That looks crazy! Oh my god! Oh my god! That looks crazy! Oh my god! That looks f***ing mad, bro. Yeah? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I- I want to do my updoors. Look at that. This looks mad. Look at my baby! <laughs> I'm in love. I don't know what to say. I'm shocked. Oh, let me put the spoiler up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Lamborghini Rualto. That looks nuts. It looks out of this world. When I ordered it, I honestly, I didn't look at the options list. They were just like, you're going to have this, by the way. And I was like, oh, okay. And they went, oh, also it has this. Because you, it, it, this car came so early, I wasn't allowed to pick what it had and what it didn't have. It just came. So, um, yeah, I was surprised by the bill when that arrived. Look at me and my Rewalter. Nice, right? Bro, this is insane. When you first turn them on. Yeah. They're always in the city, mm -hmm. which is like quiet mode. And then all you need to do is press the right paddle. Yeah. And then now you're in first gear, so then you would start moving.
we just wanted to get some fuel. And um, yeah, it looks crazy. I just saw it in the reflection. Absolutely insane. Over the moon, bro. I'm gonna take it to Monaco, park up on the veranda, <laughs> and smoke a cigar. <laughs> I wonder how fast I can go today. Baby on board. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me put the baby on board on the Rualto. <laughs> Banging. Look at that. My son's gonna be gassed. Oh, cool. Cool. The, the best Rivalto on road. Yeah. <laughs> out, out, out of all five. <laughs> this looks sick. Ah, oh, this looks so sick. Look. Green, blue, purple, pink. Are you crazy? I'm gassed. I don't know what to do. Oh, this is sick. Ah. After just picking up my brand new Lamborghini Rivalto, I can tell you it is amazing. And everything we thought it would be, it's 10 times better. So the Rivalto features a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery. It's a very small capacity battery with a measly eight miles of range, 10 if you're lucky. Um, the battery isn't for anything else than going stupidly fast. And this car's 1,015 horsepower total base performance is insane. You have two electric motors on the front axle allowing for torque vectoring. And you also have one electric motor paired to the gearbox on the rear. In this car, we now have an eight speed um, dual clutch transmission developed in-house by Lamborghini. The new transmission shifts significantly faster than the Hurricane transmission, which as you know, was silky smooth. The V12 engine is also brand new. It's 14 kilograms lighter than the previous V12 engine in the Aventador, and it's also been rotated 180 degrees to allow for the gearbox on the rear. So the V12 motor no longer powers the front axle at all. That is just electric, and it's solely for the rear. Anyway, this isn't top gear. Um, I am just a regular dude with a uh, Rivalto. So I'm just gonna go through some of the key things that I like about this car. I literally picked it up about 20 minutes ago, if that. So um, I'm taking the time to deliver this to you fresh, fresh off the press, as they say. Um, it's been wrapped, it's been wrapped by Wrap Sanctuary. They did an amazing job. They managed to get the wrap done in a week. It is the first wrapped Rivalto in the world. No one else has done it. I guess no one else is brave enough to wrap a brand new 550,000 pound supercar but anyway i was uh, or stupid enough <laughs> you have the new y lights at the front that look incredible and now for the first time in a v12 lamborghini you also have um, an adas system so that allows you to do things like active lane keeping and active cruise control and on this side you have a tow eye that's disguised to look like another camera um, in order to keep the symmetry the color i can't actually remember the name of um, it may sound like i'm gatekeeping because i am but i honestly don't remember the name of the color but it has several different colors and it. it has like a purple a blue a yellow um, gold, uh, green. It just keeps changing depending on how you look at the car. A bit like titanium changes when it burns. Interesting facts. I don't know if you guys care about this. Um, Lamborghini fuel flaps are always on the right side of the car, but today we have it on the left. I, I'm not sure why that's been changed. Uh, I'm curious as to why they decided to do that because it's always historically been on the right side as it is normally with foreign cars. So my car, I didn't actually get to spec it. Um, Lamborghini said to me, Tommy, if you want the first car, I know a lot of people, let me clear something up. A lot of people said they had the first customer car. This was actually the first customer car. I just didn't pick it up. It's been sitting in Lamborghini Pangborn for about two months now, uh, trying to decide a color for the wrap. And then also I wasn't actually allowed to take delivery of it until recently. And when I was allowed to take delivery, I decided I wanted to wrap this color. So it took even longer. Uh, so yes, ha, I win, but it's not a competition. I, mean, I don't care about those things. I do. I didn't actually get to spec this car because it was the first customer car. Um, there was a bunch of them that was delivered. So Lamborghini said, look, when it arrives, you'll know what it has on it. And luckily I got a lot of things with this car that I'm happy about. If my words are muddled up, that's because it's a Rivalto. And that's the Italian word for scrambled. Or is it Spanish? I don't know. They use fighting bull names, but because they've changed things, they've used um, Rivalto as the name of this car because it changes up the formula of what is a Lamborghini. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you. I haven't got a ton of facts to list off. I'm still in shock. I think the best way we can experience this is by going on the first drive. So let's go. Oh, that's not the door. This is my door. <laughs> Trying to get your light. Driving the car, initial thoughts, the handling dynamics are so different to what you have in the SVJ. The steering rack, you can tell, is a lot faster. The ratio has been shortened. So it feels more like a Ferrari, more like ready to turn, more agile. You've got four wheel steering and you've got a different suspension set up to what you had in the Aventador. There was a big pothole there. So now, no longer do you have the inboard suspension that looked gorgeous, might I add. You've got standard suspension for packaging reasons, but also that means you get a more comfortable ride, thank God. 
even around town, the car does well. Here's a great test of the four wheel steering as we go around this roundabout. Perfect, look at that. I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel like a traditional Lambo in terms of it being difficult to drive. It's super easy to drive and she just pulled out, didn't look where she was going, wow. I wasn't even at full throttle, like quarter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's rapid, you know. I'm not even in the fastest mode. I'm in hybrid mode. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I have an SF90. For some reason, this feels significantly faster. I'm not sure what wizardry Lamborghini have done or if it's just the viciousness of the V12 engine, but this is out of this world. I'm a bit, I can't lie, I'm a bit scared. Okay, let me go Corsa first and then I'll go into performance. Okay, yeah, that felt faster. Fuck me. What does that feel like as a passenger? <laughs> <laughs> So as the sun goes down <laughs> on this wonderful day, that is my uh, Rewelta. I'm still blown away and I know this is a bit haphazard and I haven't been able to go in depth with you guys. I will try and go in depth in a later video. I'm still kind of buzzing on adrenaline and running on a Burger King Whopper today. That's all I've had. So um, yeah, I will uh, bring you more content on the Rewelta. Remember to subscribe and like. I never said that on my videos, but I'm saying it today because I've got more content coming for you soon. Something really interesting coming as well. Um, fast, I should say very fast, a race, so look out for that.